Well, hello, Aries. I am Sin the Moon Goddess, and I want to welcome you to my channel. I'm doing this reading for you for the singles, Aries, singles. And we start off with three Oracle love cards. I don't know what's up with your energy, Aries, but I feel like rushing through everything. <laughs> oh. One more, please, spirit. Mm, too many spirits. This one more. Too many spirits. Aries. Oh my God, what's going on with you? You're trying to give me 10 for your last card. <laughs> They saying you need everything in the book. <laughs> I'm sorry, Harry. This is just I'm just we just need one card. One card there. Just one. Just one. Jeez, Aries. Just one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, wedding was at the bottom. All right, Aries, if you haven't already subscribed to Seeing the Moon Goddess channel, I'm asking you if you could do that for me now by hitting that button right over there to the right. I really would appreciate it. Thank you, Aries. All right, Aries, we're going to start with this mask. Can somebody turn, turn, take that mask off? It says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So, um, spirit. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It says someone that you you passionate about, you know, and you're not showing your, your true self. And they want you to show your true self. Spirit wants you to show your true. Oh, you got a lot of passion for this person. Yeah. And some of you, this true love is rushing in. rushing towards you it could be an Aries I'm sorry it could be Aquarius it could be water sign water is Cancer Scorpio and Pisces yes okay the forgiveness as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment so they want you to, to release the past it's all up in your head you got to let it go and they saying you're stronger than you really think you are. And they want you to stand in that power. If you're having a hard time, just deep down inside, it's there. That power that you need right now, Aries, is there inside of you. You can work anything out, whatever is going on with you. Yeah, it seems like you're having a little problems with love. Maybe um, your last relationship, someone cheated. I'm hearing. And, and they want you to heal off of that. Manifest love. Manifest love. Manifest a new start in love. Okay? So that way you can stop this. You going back and forth in your head. Manifest a new beginning in love. Seeing, yeah, a new beginning in love, spirit. Yes, they saying if you do that, you will have marriage on the way, and it's going to be very successful. Oh, a lifetime relationship, Aries. They said if you tap into your your intuition, it's going to tell you. Just listen to it. This new beginning, asking for this new beginning, it was the best thing you could do. Because then the love is going to come in. All this love is coming in. Man, there's a lot of Taurus and Virgo right here. 
Okay, this love is coming in. This could be marriage. And if it is, it's going to be a lifetime relationship. Lifetime. It's going to be very successful. Not only in love, but it's saying in business too. Yeah, in business too. So they want you to, to put an end to all of the hurt and anger you feel. Because it's time for happiness. Wow. It's saying it's time for happiness, love. It's time. Wow. It's time to let go of hurt. It's time to let go of hurt, disappointment. And pick up on love. I'm hearing respect. Wow. Peace. Okay. Oh, wow. So, <clears throat> in work, you're going to come up with a new idea. At work, you're going to come up with a new idea. And um, it's going to make you some money. They just... They want you to come out with it. Don't be afraid. But they also want you to make sure you have paperwork. So if you come up with an idea, they want to make sure you have a contract before you release it to them. And make sure you double check your, your paperwork. Okay. Yep. Make sure you double check that paperwork. Some of you coming up with some goals that's going to really um, help you. Not only help you money wise, but help help you to grow. They want you to stay where you are. As, 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 as far as your goals, they want you to work those goals that's on the list. They don't want you to add. They want you just to fine tune them. They don't want you to add. No, don't add. Okay. But they want you to come forward with the ones you have. Because it's going to change your life. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, Capricorn energy. Yep. They want you to come out with them goals. And stop. Just stop fearing. Stop fearing. Stop. Start trusting yourself. You're not trusting your intuition. You're not trusting yourself. And they seem to have courage. You came to your own reading. So this is definitely for you, Eric. When it comes to, um, when it comes to that new idea, it's going to give you victory. Also, some of you is gonna, it's a new love. It's going to give you victory. It's going to give you a new chapter of rebirth. Yeah. See, when it comes to work, the divine is helping you. And it's all of, it's going to be all about them goals. Make sure you put love on them go, on that goal list. If it's not there, that's the only thing you can add. <laughs> there will be strength. <laughs> when it comes to love... Spirit is going to help you. See, it's going to be a new beginning. Capricorn energy again. A new beginning with you. And it's, you're going to build in love. And you're going to build a stable foundation this time. Okay. And with your business too. Oh, I'm hearing business too. Business and love. You're gonna, you're gonna, <clears throat> you're gonna build a, a a new foundation, and it's gonna work out for you. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. So it's gonna be a new beginning, and you are the star. You healing. You're growing. Things are going to start really working out for you. Look, I told you, you, was, you had your own reading. They just want you to be grateful. 
grateful for what you have right now. Because you're healing when it comes to love and passion. You're healing. Some of you be careful because it's some someone coming. Only thing they want, they don't they don't want love. Only thing they want is sex. So they saying to be careful. But if that's what you want, hey, courage. They want you to have patience because things are coming to you. It's just not coming at a fast pace. So get out your head. They coming. It's coming towards you. Even marriage. I said that, didn't I? It's coming, but it's going to be a minute before you you get married. But that your situation, that some of you guys, oh, that's the wedding carpet's on the bottom. A situation that you are, are in right now, you're single, but marriage is is in the mix. So this person that you, you might be seeing could be a Taurus, Virgo, um, Capricorn, um, Scorpio, I'm getting, and Libra. It, yeah, Libra. Yeah, it could be... Um, it could be marriage, leads to marriage. You're definitely gonna do some tra traveling, and this person that you you you're in you're engaged to or 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 in love with um, may not live close either. So that's probably why you're doing so much travel because there's a lot of travel in here, a lot. Okay, and some of you, when it comes to school, you saying you got a block, you don't want to go back to school, but they thinking you should. They need. They they saying you you need to go back so you could you could have a chance at your passion something that you're passionate about so make that choice to go back to school is very important it's very important that you go back very important and it's very important that you choose what you love to do look what you love to do so you can have that victory. And also in love, you're going to have a victory because the divine is going to help you. Yep. It's a lot of love. Some of you don't want it, though. Some of you don't, don't want the marriage part. But it's a lifetime relationship. A lifetime. Yep. When it comes to work, some of you are going to get a promotion. Yeah, some of you are going to get a promotion. And you're going to have to choose if you're going to take it or not. They saying to take it. And then when it comes to love, you, that new love is coming. But you need to manifest it. You need to manifest the love. Okay. Happiness and love. Look at this. They said to manifest it. Manifest love and happiness. That's what they want you to do. Okay, I would say to manifest abundance. Look, and at work, you you you're gonna get a raise. So plan on it. And in the travel that I see, it could be from work. Okay. All right, Aries. That's what I have for you today. All right. I'm seeing the moon goddess. And before I let you go, you know, I have to ask you to like and share this video. And if you haven't already, can you please hit that button on the right and subscribe to send the moon goddess channel? All right, Aries. I am send the moon goddess. And I'm out. Have a good week, Aries.